Good afternoon. Uh, thank you all for uh, being here uh, today. I'm uh, pleased to be joined by Jonathan Gluss, who is the executive director for the City of San Diego's Commission uh, for Arts and Culture. Uh, today, I'm going to provide just a couple of updates. Uh, first is announcing new funds available to really keep uh, San Diego's artists uh, creating, uh, particularly during this difficult time. Uh, second, an update on how uh, San Diego's uh, very own Voices of Our City Choir uh, fared on last night's America's Got Talent. That was very cool. Uh, and lastly, of course, um, some updates on businesses that is reopening and businesses that are reopening and doing it the right way. Uh, but first up, uh, topic uh, one, announcing uh, new funds available to keep San Diego's most creative people creating. Um, today we are sharing some big news for our arts and culture community. <clears throat> so many have been hit very hard by this pandemic. <clears throat> we really tried to respond uh, aggressively. We put over $20 million in our small business relief fund to help uh, them recover or to keep paying employees. We've supported our essential workers, of course, from first responders to hospital workers to grocery employees uh, with donated meals and PPE. Uh, and we've helped pass legislation to provide financial uh, relief to San Diego families, of course, that are affected by COVID-19. This really brings us to today's announcement. <clears throat> Uh, as we've talked about before, the arts and culture are incredibly important to help us to get through this pandemic. Um, the arts, of course, and creators create the TV shows that, that we watch, the movies, the music we listen to, um, the books we read, the performances uh, that we watch. Um, but our arts community has been hit particularly hard. Uh, venues have been shut down. Audiences are staying home, of course, uh, and nonprofits have been forced to cut back. But local artists, just like the rest of us, um, they've been feeling the pain of this pandemic, but their spirit uh, is so incredible. Um, and here in San Diego, we've had a thriving arts and culture scene, uh, and we want to ensure that it continues, um, and we continue that this scene is even bigger and better than when we get on the other side of this. Uh, to that end, and to support our local artists, uh, we are announcing today that we have $1 million in arts funding available to help. Uh, this funding comes from private donations um, and a small fraction of developer impact fees that are earmarked for public art projects. We're going to distribute this funding through two separate $500,000 initiatives through the city's Arts and Culture Commission. Uh, both initiatives are gonna support local artists uh, while fostering a love and appreciation for the arts across this great city of ours. The first initiative is called SD Practice, which will support local artists through the direct purchase of artwork. This puts money into the hands of our local artists while at the same time expanding the city's civic art collection for all San Diegans to enjoy. Uh, this initiative is made possible through a $500,000 gift from the late Thomas O. Rasmussen, who spent his life admiring and collecting temporary art. The second initiative is Park Social, which will call on local artists to create projects that reflect the natural beauty of our amazing parks in San Diego. The goal is to create moments of reflection throughout our park system with these works of art. Park Social is made possible through a family bequest and the fees developers pay through the city's public arts fund. I want to thank Jonathan Gluss, uh, who is here working on these important initiatives. Uh, and really helping to find new opportunities uh, to showcase our local artists who we are also very, very proud of in San Diego. Uh, now more than ever, we have discovered the importance of arts connecting with each other, uh, finding obviously meaning, purpose, and just the ability to get out there um, and just experience new things. Uh, we look forward to implementing these two programs to support our artists and to bring uh, some smiles to our public spaces. And with that, I'd now like to invite Jonathan Gluss to say a few words. Jonathan? Thank you, Mayor. Um, so I'm very pleased to be here today to help mayor, the mayor announce these two initiatives. These are not just a million dollars in funding. These are really unprecedented in scale in San Diego. And they're going to be a game changer for uh, the way that artists in San Diego 
uh, interface with our community. As the mayor said, there's two initiatives, SD Practice and Park Social. SD Practice is going to allow us to directly acquire artwork by San Diego artists. Our city's collection is more than 800 pieces large. Uh, we have pieces that date back to the early 20th century. And very importantly, in these days, uh, the, the foundation of the collection was really built by uh, artworks from the WPA area, era, excuse me, during the Great Depression with the federal government invested in artwork by uh, national artists. Uh, and these artworks uh, became part of city collections across the country. We still enjoy those artworks here in San Diego. SD Practice is going to allow us to build on that tradition that was start, started almost a century ago in uh, creating a collection uh, in the city of San Diego that very importantly is not just of the highest quality, but a collection that reflects the cultural and ethnic diversity of our city. That is one of our primary goals with this collection, is to make sure that when we have finished acquiring these pieces, we have a collection that not only is in every city council district, but also looks like San Diego. We're very excited about this, this opportunity. <clears throat> Park Social is going to allow us to contract up to 18 artists to do site-specific projects in parks across the city. Beaches, trails, uh, formal parks, neighborhood parklets. Uh, we'll be able to uh, create projects across the city in, in parks, um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in our park system. Really importantly, not only is it going to be in every city council district, but it's going to encourage people to travel throughout the city, not just in the parks they know and love, but also in parks that they haven't visited before. This is gonna be a way for artists to be part of re-inviting us to our parks, uh, as well as our, our tourists. Uh, so we look forward to working with our artists in the coming months to bring them into public space in a way that we haven't before. Thank you so much, Mayor, for allowing this opportunity. Uh, thank you, Jonathan, and thank you to uh, not only yourself, but all the members of our city's arts and uh, culture. This is going to be a welcome addition um, to art uh, and culture across the entire city. Topic number two today, I uh, want to congratulate our Voices of Our City Choir on their uh, phenomenal performance last night on America's Got Talent. Um, I think a lot of the nation was taken by surprise last night as they uh, really got to see firsthand the premiere of this phenomenal group. Um, this very special group of current and formerly homeless San Diegans and community members shared their very moving experiences uh, on living on the streets. Um, it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage to get up in front of millions of people, uh, and they absolutely delivered with an amazing performance. Uh, this morning I had the chance to speak with the executive director and co-founder uh, of the choir, uh, Steph Johnson, uh, and congratulate her. Uh, she said the group was overwhelmed by all of the outpouring of support, um, and it really is, I think, going to help open the doors uh, for the choir for so many other things. Um, it sounds like they're going to be in high demand, and rightfully so. So on behalf of uh, all San Diegans, I want to uh, say how proud we are of the choir. Uh, congratulate them on uh, getting the, uh, the famous golden buzzer last night. Um, and of course, that means they are now automatically in the finale uh, of the show, which is set for August. Um, congratulations, and thank you to Voices of Our San Diego Choir for continuing to represent our city uh, and to make us, make us proud. Uh, if you missed their performance, you, uh, you have to check it out on YouTube. Topic number three, continue to share stories about how San Diego businesses are reopening uh, in the right way. Normally, of course, I've highlighted uh, how San Diegans are stepping up to help those uh, in times of our great need, but as I mentioned uh, yesterday, we're switching up a little bit this week and sharing stories about San Diego businesses doing things as they reopen across our city. Um, typically, I, well, what I want to talk about is how important the arts are to our city, but I wanted to share how Inscriptu and their pop-up urban art 
shop in City Heights are reopening safely to support our public artists. A typically Inscriptu is a print company that offers laser engraving, digital printing, and custom design services. Uh, in response to the pandemic, they have opened up a mask and sign pop-up right next door to their location. Uh, and they hand out homemade masks, plastic face shields, uh, and store signage in multiple languages to artists reopening businesses, um, all made by local artists, assist those folks reopening their businesses. And as we continue to reopen retail and other services as part of a phased reopening plan, Inscriptu has installed strict social distancing rules. They've implemented curbside pickup. They've bolstered their online ordering and payment processes, uh, really doing everything the right way. As I said, uh, stepping up to help San Diego. So I want to thank Inscriptu for re reopening, uh, showing how it can be done to keep our community safe. Uh, and as we reopen and continue to reopen San Diego's economy. Uh, thank you for that. I don't know if there's any questions on today's topics from members of the media. Uh, see you done. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Jonathan, everybody at Arts and Culture. And I look forward to tomorrow's update. Thank you.